This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this, this is, is the, the day when the Spirit came, when the Spirit came. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day when the Spirit came. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day when the Spirit This Mass is offered for the souls of Veris Anshila Chaves and soul of Augustine Clarence de Mello. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Today is Pentecost Sunday, the birthday of the Church. Pentecost ranks among the great feasts of Christianity. It commemorates not only the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles and disciples, but also the fruits and effects of that event. The completion of the work of redemption, the fullness of grace for the church and its children and the gift of faith for all nations. Pentecost Sunday marks the end of the first novena. My dear sisters and brothers, on this birthday of the church and our birthday because of the sacraments of baptism and confirmation that we receive, I want to at the beginning of this Eucharist to wish you a very happy feast of Pentecost. This Mass is being offered among all the other intentions. For your intentions, particularly those who are sick and invalid, and for those who need our help and prayers before God all over the world. Let us pause to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May God Almighty have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin. Bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us praise God together as we sing. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. To Him be glory forever. To Him be glory forever. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the 
Sanctify your whole church in every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth. And with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of all believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Pentecost Day came around, the apostles had all met in one room, when suddenly they heard what sounded like a powerful wind from heaven, the noise of which filled the entire house in which they were sitting. And something appeared to them that seemed like tongues of fire. This separated and came to rest on the head of each of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak foreign languages as the Spirit gave them the gift of speech. Now there were devout men living in Jerusalem from every nation under heaven, and at this sound they all assembled each one bewildered to hear these men speaking his own language. They were amazed and astonished. Surely, they say, all these men speaking are Galileans. How does it happen that each of us hears them in his own native language? Parthians, Mendes, and Elamites, people from Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Persia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the parts of Libya round Syrene, as well as visitors from Rome, Jews, and proselytes alike. Cretans and Arabs, we hear them preaching in our own language about the marvels of God. The word of the Lord and speak to God. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, that the face of the earth be renewed. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, that the face of the earth be renewed. O my soul, arise and bless the Lord God. Say to Him, my God, how great you are. You are clothed with majesty and splendor, and light is the garment you wear. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, 
that the face of the earth be renewed. All your creatures look to you for comfort. From your open hand they have their fill. You sent forth your spirit and revived them. The face of the earth you renew. Send forth your spirit, O oh Lord, that the face of the earth be The second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. No one can say Jesus is Lord unless he is under the influence of the Holy Spirit. There is a variety of gifts but always the same Spirit. There are all sorts of service to be done, but always to the same Lord. Working in all sorts of different ways in different people. It is the same God who is working in all of them. The particular way in which the Spirit is given to each person is for a good purpose. Just as a human body, though it is made up of many parts, is a single unit. Because all these parts, though many, make one body. So it is with Christ. In the one spirit we were all baptized, Jews as well as Greeks, slaves as well as citizens, and one spirit was given to us all to drink. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. Please stand for the gospel. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. The Lord is with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. In the evening of the first day of the week, the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you and showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord, and he said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so I am sending you. After saying this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those whose sins you forgive, 
they are forgiven and for those whose sins you retain they are retained this is the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ My dear brothers and sisters, a young lad was taken to school on his very first day at school time. And as his mother left him to go back home, he cried bitterly and he reached out to his mother. She came back to him, bent over him, kissed him on his cheek and whispered in his ear no one is leaving my son goodbye and she went away and this boy stopped crying and every day this would be the ritual for some time till he got accustomed to school as his mother left he would weep and reach out to her she would come back kissed him on his cheek and said no one is leaving goodbye as he grew up in years and graduated and became a young man and was about to launch into life he had the misfortune of having to put his mother into a home for the aged because she was suffering from alzheimers and every time he went to visit his mother she did not seem to remember him she was lost in her own world at times she asked him who are you and the man used to weep because he knew that this was the mother whom he was losing one day as he was about to leave he came back to his mother kissed her on her cheek and said no one is leaving goodbye and at once there was recognition on the face of his mother there were tears in her eyes and as those tears came down her cheek she repeated those words and said no one is leaving goodbye My dear brothers and sisters this is exactly what Jesus meant when he told his apostles I am going but I will send you an advocate a comforter this is what the whole season of preceding pentecost has been preparing us for to receive the spirit and the power of pentecost in one sense Jesus says I am going and in another sense he says no one is leaving because the spirit now comes and floods the church with its gifts its powers and its fruits i caught an interesting part of the second text of today's reading the first speaks of pentecost the second text spoke about paul telling his listeners no one can say jesus is lord unless the spirit gives him the power now you understand why after 2000 years of christianity the whole world is not saying jesus is lord because the spirit has not given them that utterance it is only when we accept the spirit which means the presence of jesus in our life then will we acclaim jesus as lord and savior of the world so that explains why not everybody accept jesus they don't accept the spirit and it's only when a person is converted to jesus after they accept his lordship that they are able to mount that confession jesus is lord now and forever So this solves one part of our problem 
while after 2000 years of Christianity, not everybody is Christian. But it also places on our hearts the burden as to why the whole world has still not been evangelized or come around the name of Jesus. And that burden rests on each one of us, you, you and me. It means that having been given the spirit, we still have not actualized, fructified, put into effect the power of the spirit. And that power we see exemplified in today's first text and in the early church when infused with the power of the Spirit, the frightened disciples and apostles together with the Blessed Virgin Mary now go forth and they go forth in the power in the, of, in the name of Jesus and do miracles and healings and powerful word and testimony that draws people towards being baptized in the name of the way, the name of Jesus. This is the burden that I want to express on this feast of Pentecost. While it is a happy feast and we celebrate the infusion of the Spirit in us individually and in the church at large, the church still has the burden of making real the power, the fruits, the gifts and the charisms of the Spirit to the world at large. This is the mission that each one of us as Christians has to bear and to proclaim and give witness to. Till such time as each one of us, using our special gifts and charisms and expressing the fruits of the Spirit, do not do this powerfully in the precious and holy name of Jesus, the world will not be evangelized and we will be a Susegad Christian doing our prayer, our novenas, our divine mercy, doing our personal prayer and blessed sacrament visits, but ineffective in evangelizing the world. This message is as much for me as it is for you. We thank God for the gifts and ministries in the church, catechists, choristers, lectors, Eucharistic ministers, social workers, SVP workers, women's cell, etc., etc., but as long as we are turned on within ourselves, we are not using the power which made the apostles turn to others. And people should be influenced by this gift and power of the Spirit together which gives glory to God our Father. Jesus has not gone away. Goodbye my love. Jesus is very much here with us. No one is leaving. Put together, we have a double force. The presence of Jesus and the active inspiration of the Spirit to enable us to go forth and proclaim the good news. To go forth and fill the earth with the Spirit of Jesus. This is the message of Pentecost, I feel, that we all must imbibe. The Holy Father, Pope Francis, constantly invites us to get out of the selfishness of our hearts and ourselves, to be selfless for others. The Blessed Virgin who remained with the Apostles in the upper room is a mother who says, Go, oh, my son, no one is leaving. Goodbye. Mother Mary in as much would say the same words as Jesus. Insofar as we do the work of God, God never leaves us. He is constantly present with us as the Holy Spirit hovering over the church, the world and our hearts. This parish of ours, St. Vincent de Paul, a beautiful parish, beautiful people, beautiful associations and well-meaning parishioners. But we need to get out of a complacency so that in filling ourselves in humility and in prayer and waiting, we will be filled with the Spirit and go forth and make good news for the world. Amen. Let us all rise and proclaim together the creed. We shall use the longer version of the creed today. 
altogether. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, in hope and in faith, we bring our prayers and petitions to God our Father, asking for a new Pentecost on ourselves and our parish and the world. Our response is... Pour out your spirit on us. Please repeat. Pour, Pour out your spirit on us. For our Pope Francis, our Bishop Oswald, and for all bishops, priests, deacons, and lay men and women, that they would be guided by the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Pour, Pour out your spirit on us. We pray for our government and governments throughout the world that they may be guided by the Holy Spirit when relaxing coronavirus restrictions, taking into account the health, social and economic needs of their peoples. We pray to the Lord. Pour out your Spirit on us. We ask the Holy Spirit to bestow on us the wisdom and insight to care for the earth and environment, to preserve his gifts of water, land and climate for ourselves and the good of those who come after us. We pray to the Lord. Pour out your spirit on us. For our parish community, that the Holy Spirit may bind us together in love, unity, and friendship. We pray to the Lord. Pour out your Spirit on us. Let us pause to pray for our personal needs and intentions, remembering particularly those who have died in these days and those who celebrate special occasions. We make all these prayers through the same price, our Lord. Amen. We have the offertory now. All that I am, all that I have, I The joys and the pain, I'm making them yours. Lord, I offer my life to you, everything I've been through. You 
Use it for your glory, Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you as a pleasing sacrifice, Lord, I offer you. sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice may be an acceptable gift to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of his holy church. Grant, we pray, Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us to all truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, earth and heaven sing Hosanna in your praise. Blessed is he. Found of all holiness. Make holy their holy gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit in them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Jesus 
death and resurrection we offer you, Father, this life-giving breath, this saving cup. We thank you for counting as worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with friends, our home, Oswald, our bishop, and all the religious, the clergy, and those who are consecrated. Remember those for whom this past is offered. Our sisters and brothers gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, our patron Saint Vincent de Paul and Saint Elias, and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Filled with the Spirit of God and trying our best to bring to fruition the gifts, charism and fruits of the Spirit, we pray, our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin, safe from anxiety, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. To the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, Lord, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance to your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this Eucharist. I believe that you come into my heart, even though I cannot receive you sacramentally. Come spiritually into my heart. Forgive my sins, Lord. I believe in your presence. Make me ready to receive you in Holy Communion. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to share the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ Keep us safe for life eternal. Amen. Amen. And he 
spirit like a dove will descend upon your life and make you whole. Jesus, we Let us pray. Almighty Spirit of God, we ask that as you infill the church at Pentecost, the whole church may come alive in the witness of Jesus, our Lord and Master that the gifts and charisms promised to those who call Jesus Lord will bear witness to the Lord and make it one his own powerful kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, once again a happy feast to all of you. We should this, the same Thank you. This evening from our parish grotto we will li live stream via Facebook the closing rosary of the month of May. 7 o'clock this evening via Facebook Live, the same channel that you're watching it just now, the Eucharist. We'd like to say that the churches are still not open, but all of us are praying for you every day and we know that you are praying for us as well. If ever you need some service from us, physically, spiritually, financially, in some aid or the other, Please feel free to call our parish office and we will reach out to you. Thank you, keep well and stay safe. Today we had a different voice at Mass. We had Melanie and Pius here to help us at the Sunday Eucharist and we thank them for this. Last night we had a night vision, Pentecost vision, at which we had Julieta, we had uh, Melanie again, we had Ruth and we had Ralph who gave us a teaching. 
The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. May God Almighty bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. God's Spirit is in my heart. He has called me and set me apart. This is what I have to do. What I have to do. He sent me to give the good news to the poor. Tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more. Tell blind people that they can see and set the downtrodden free and go. Come and go tell.